Hi kids, it's me Shauna in the Science Gallery at the Manitoba Museum. I have a really groovy experiment that I want to show you. It's super easy and you can find all the ingredients at home. Here are the ingredients you'll need. A plastic pop bottle, some water, food coloring, you can pick your favorite color, I chose red, some Alka-Seltzer tablets, some vegetable oil, and if you have one around, a flashlight. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, get your food coloring. You want to put about 10 drops in and make it nice and bright into the water. Give it a stir. And you're going to fill your bottle up with this water about a quarter of the way full. Next, you want to take your vegetable oil and you're going to fill your bottle up the rest of the way with the vegetable oil. Now, I know most of you probably have noticed that water and vegetable oil don't mix, but do you know why? Scientists say that they actually have different densities. So the oil is less dense than the water and it floats on the surface. So we're gonna fill it all the way up here, right to the top. Water and oil molecules do not like to mix, but you probably notice that the food coloring mixed very nicely with the water. Now for the fun part. Get your Alka-Seltzer tablet. You want to break it into pieces. Drop one piece in and watch the action. Now what's happening is the Alka-Seltzer tablet is dissolving. It's creating bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Those bubbles are traveling up through the red water, going into the oil, and they're carrying little bits of colored water with them. When those bubbles get to the surface, they break, and those little bits of colored water are more dense than the oil, and they sink back down to the bottom again. See, this lava lamp can show us everything about density, but it's not only teaching us about density, it's also beautiful. So there you have it, your very own awesome lava lamp. And the best part is you made it yourself. Now let's turn down the lights and check it out. <laughs>